So here we go. It's uh, the new PT Cruiser is here. Thanks. While we rebuilt the PT Cruiser, blah blah blah. blah. That's really cool. Um, but anyway, it's a bunch of whatever. But there it is. Look how cool this is. I need to clean off a little bit of that paper on the hood there. But I mean, it's like a just a regular my style car, I guess. PT Cruiser made in China. But I just think it's cool, like it's actual like promotional thing, you know, it comes like in a little box with a holder. Like the box is screwed, but you know, whatever. It's still kind of neat. So yeah, thanks Brian for this. This is really cool. And I actually don't even have a PT Cruiser in my collection, so I'll definitely keep this bad boy around. Uh, I have no idea if it's worth anything, <laughs> but... Look at that, it, like, I guess they can get them a, so you can uh, do, like, color samples or whatever. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know why I'm covering that up, that's not even my friend's address. Also, who cares, my friend's moving out, so what are you guys gonna do? Go to a guy's freaking empty house. Hey, I saw you on Nostalgic! <laughs> Alright, so that's cool. Um... <clears throat> Alright, so he also gave me this, which is really cool. It was a brand new t-shirt. Um, right, I'll zoom out. It's uh, right there, Rat Fink. <sighs> there we go, get a nicer shot. How cool is that? I love that. It's Unfortunately, it's large. I'm uh, somewhat of a big boy, so I need to lose some weight. But I'm definitely saving this, and I'm going to wear it. So yeah, Ed Big Daddy Roth. Man, uh, it's his um, passing away shirt. That's fucking awesome. Even if I don't wear it, I'm probably gonna just like frame this or something. It's like really nice quality. See how it's kind of shiny. But yeah, that's really cool. Wow. So yeah, he also gave me some of these flags, like the NASCAR or something. Uh, brick, brick, Indianapolis uh, motorway. I'm not gonna open these up. They're like huge, huge flags. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I'm not really like a NASCAR flag guy, but we'll see. <clears throat> okay, let's move on to Hot Wheels and stuff and zoom in a little. Oh, move this shirt out of here. Okay, so next we have... Oh, let's move this out of the way. Completely? Okay. Okay, this was really cool, guys. I picked up two of these, the fast wagons. Like, these just came out. So, this is too close. <laughs> these just came out. So, I, um, let's see. I found the yellow um, Volvo, found the uh, Nova panel, and the Audi um, Avant. Unfortunately, I really want these two. Apparently, everybody wants those. So, what are you going to do, right? But I definitely want the Nissan and the, the other Volvo, the older one, which is amazing. I love the green. But for now, this is cool. Really nice looking Audi. These are getting opened. They are going into my display. And uh, I'm going to do that right now for you. There we go. Goodbye. That literally landed on my head. <laughs> that was hilarious. All right. Look at this beautiful freaking thing the rims are awesome whoop so yeah obviously metal on metal this is a premium car this ain't the dollar dollar bin car at all freaking awesome unfortunately there's some weird chips right there on the roof but what are you gonna do it is what it is right i mean that's how it came from this stupid package all right, let's get the Audi out. Here we go. This is really cool, too. It's not a vintage anything, but, you know, I really like Audis, and this is really cool. I like the subdued paint. Rims are nice. What are these, 10 spokes? There you go. RS6 Avant. But, yeah, really beautiful freaking casting. Really like these cars, man. But yeah, the, the Volvo was kind of like, eh, you know what I mean? Like, whatever, man. So yeah, okay, we have those. Uh, let's see, next. Yesterday, uh, 
I was uh, hunting with Maggie, my girlfriend, if you're new. But we went into uh, another Walmart. I found one of these. So this bad boy is going to be for trade or something like that. Probably at ToyCon or tomorrow me and uh, Andre of the first 117. If you guys don't know, uh, check out his channel. But me and him are going to a Hot Wheels collector's house. And we're going to be trading and buying some Hot Wheels. And apparently this guy has a lot of different stuff. So I'm really looking forward to that. Picked up two Miss Piggies. Also for trades and such. Um, this, I was amazed and surprised that uh, it was in the store. Because this is from the older line. I have this Mustang. I don't want any of those, but uh, this Moon Eyes freaking VW, you know, with the freaking uh, transporter T1, like, this is cool, man. Still not sure if I want to keep this or if this can actually bring me something better for trade for my collection. I don't know. I might keep this. What do you guys think? Should I keep it? Let me know down in the comments for sure. But yeah, <laughs> this is cool. I was really happy just to find the the freaking wagons, man. The fast wagons. That's a brand new line, by the way, that literally like came out two days ago. Okay, this morning I found this at my uh, ghetto Walmart. Um, Honey Hole Walmart. I'm just going to keep calling. I'm going to call it Honey Hole. I really don't like calling it ghetto uh, Walmart. Kind of seems stupid. But uh most of you on YouTube were calling it that. Uh, okay, so this is a Skyline GTR BNR32. Uh, Sakura Sprinter is the carrier van or whatever it is. So yeah, this is really cool. Um, initially, I, I got this a few weeks ago. I love it uh, because I love the how it's like a bus. This I don't really want, uh, whatever. Um, this I kind of didn't pick up and they someone picked them up the next day so I, I still wasn't really wanting it but then I'm like dude you can trade this for something or if you really want keep it and uh, so I don't know yet I don't know about any of these transports I, I might keep them I just don't want to keep collecting transports and it's like I already have three this will be four and five plus the what's the one I have um, the fast and the furious red truck I have from the five pack or four pack so I got too many transports. I don't want them. <laughs> I don't want them, even though they're cool. <sighs> I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Okay, uh, next. Also this morning, picked up some of these. Uh, one is, I already have one of these, so I'm going to open one and keep one. And the third one's going to go for trades and stuff. So that's how I roll. I'm really appreciating the Moon Eyes stuff lately. I mean, look at that. And uh, I really love the Matchbox Collectors series. I think uh, they're really doing a, a great job. I just wish they would make the bases metal. Kind of like Hot Wheels does with their premiums. That would really tie everything together and give it like a little bit of a weight, you know? So yeah, really like these little trucks. W which one was this? 1963 Chevy C10 pickup with Moon Eyes livery. So yeah, really cool stuff, man like those a lot and two more by the way i got all these from fresh cases that i was opening at walmart i was asked to stop and i stopped i was asked nicely there wasn't any problems they were just like look we we're not sure if we want these out yet so they didn't mind me getting them out but they're like we already have stuff on the shelves we're gonna put these out later so and they let me keep whatever i already took out like it wasn't an issue or anything so picked up two more of these for for trades for stuff that I can't find myself. All right, moving on. Getting close to the bags. Oh yeah, and also my Honey Hole Walmart had a new case of basic uh, freaking main lines. So I snagged up two of these. I don't have these at all. So uh, one of these is staying with me. The other one, probably gonna give to a friend of mine. I love the fact that I have uh, tempos on the back and on the front. Like these are good, you know, good quality things. So they're literally rubber wheels and metal base step away from being premium. So I, I really, really respect that. This thing I, I was kind of on the fence about. There was only one of these and something about it. I just, <laughs> I don't know something about this freaking car I like. So yeah, 
Uh, this will be my first uh, Bel Air, and if anything, this weird Baja style. Oh yeah, that's what it's called, Baja Blazers. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, I guess this is the F case. I think that's what that means. I forget. I don't really care. But uh, this is the newer case, so I was really happy to stumble on it, even though most of it was picked. And this is the main thing from that case that I was just like, oh, look at that. So, yeah, look at that. 96 Porsche Carrera. I love the paint job on this. The paint job on this is freaking fan-freaking-tastic. Love that, like, British green, British racing green. It says uh, Carrera right there on the back. It's probably out of focus, but it's a small car. What do you want? I wish they did the headlights, but whatever. So yeah, this is really cool. It's probably one of those main lines I'm going to keep um, in my collection, even though I pretty much collect premiums and that's it. But I do make rare exceptions, and this is definitely one of them. This is a beautiful Porsche. All right. Okay, we have come to the end, guys. Uh, these are the, the three that I picked out. I went through, believe it or not, through three of these brand new uh, boxes that were filled with these bags. Uh, one of them had two, and another one had one, and the third one didn't have any of the one, two, or three. So, let's find out which ones these are. I mean, it does say it on the back, which number is which. Um, for you, um, you know, I'm not gonna ruin the surprise. <laughs> so let's find out what we have here. Open up this first one. The one I really want is the mystery one, which is, I believe, is the Mini Cooper. So, let's see. Ah, this is the... Here you go. Mitsubishi Double Shots. Nice sticker. This is the number three. Really nice car. This one's definitely going as trade bait. I did not want this, but... um. Hey, I was going through all those freaking cases, so I was like, I am definitely going to pick this up. So hopefully it'll get me something I want for my collection, and whoever this trades to will be happy as well. These aren't exactly easy to find, and like I said, out of three boxes, I found one of each, of one, two, three. One of the boxes didn't even have, like, one of them, which is kind of blew my mind, unless someone already opened and went through it before me. Which is a possibility, but yeah. All right. Oh, the Lancia. Yes. Pretty sure this is a keeper. Um, was it Honest Diecast that's looking for one of these? Um, I don't remember. Um, I watch his channel often. Uh, I think he said that he's looking for this. So Honest Diecast, uh, hit me up if you want to trade for something. I will happily trade this to you. Obviously, I'm the only owner. <laughs> Did not play with it. I'll even uh, send you the sticker. But yeah, let me know, let me know, man, if uh, if you want that. If not, it's going to the toy show to be traded there. All right, two, three. And obviously, this isn't going to be a surprise since we know what the other two are. <laughs> so, let's find out together. Oh shit! Look at that. I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought I had the Mini. I didn't get a Mini. Did I accidentally not pick it up? This says two. What was... Is the Mini, like, not marked? Did I make a mistake? I mean, I'm not bummed out. Two, two. And three. I thought the Lancia was number one. I am confused. Oh well. No big deal. There you go. Even more reason to uh, trade one of these because now I can keep one. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so yeah, both of these are up for trade. We'll see how it goes. Um, guys, if you're interested, um, I'm not going to be uh, answering you in my YouTube, if you're actually interested in making a trade for one of these, uh, please send me a message on nostalgic underscore TV. That's an Instagram account. You can also look at my other finds that I find. I take a lot of pictures of stuff that I collect. I post pretty much daily on there, so you won't regret that one. 
But uh, yeah, if you really want to trade for one of these babies, uh, let me know. Um, obviously, uh, Honest Diecast gets dibs on one of these. So uh, other than that, um, yeah, please send a message there to my Instagram. Again, nostalgic underscore TV. Don't leave a message under this video because I'm just going to tell you, go to my Instagram account if you want to talk about trading for real. If you're serious. If you're not serious, go ahead, leave a message in the YouTube comments and I'll be like, yeah, it is for trade. Waka waka. So yeah. <laughs> so cool, man. All right, guys. These are uh, my pickups. These are really cool. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping one of these uh, freaking tsunamis. So I love rally racing on top of it. So that's that's just cool. Until I see one that's a premium, then I'll definitely get rid of it and pick up the premium. Come on now. It's so much better. Premium cars are nice. ASMR out. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Naz. You're watching Nostalgic. This was my, uh, my haul. Let's put it there for a thumbnail picture. All right. Bye, everybody. Live long and prosper. Collect what you like. Don't collect garbage that everybody thinks you should collect or because it's popular. Why? It's your life. Collect what you like. Nas out. Kirk out. Scotty!